back to my channel. My name is Sunny E and welcome back. Um, today I went to Ulta and bought uh, just Ulta products to do a full face. So here's my bag of goodies. Um, I'm really excited to do this. Uh, the reason why I like to talk about Ulta is because for the convenience. Um, I'm not sponsored by Ulta. I'm not uh, affiliated with Ulta. It's just the fact that I live so close to Ulta, so I happen to go there most of the time. Uh, even if I buy stuff online, obviously I can return stuff at the store. So it's really easy. Sephora, um, it's not that far either, but I feel like the store is so small. Like I feel like once I'm in there, it's really hard for me to uh, go at my pace because there's so many people that are jam-packed into that one store. So that's the reason why I am doing a Ulta uh, product review slash full face just using Ulta products. So let's get to it. So I do have with me two um, uh, full coverage liquid foundations. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have any uh, testers, so I couldn't like try um, then before I buy these so hopefully these are gonna work for my skin tone The first one is called medium warm and I usually go for the warm color. So let's try this first Yeah, it's definitely more liquidy and this is supposed to be a full coverage But I think the color is a good match. So my foundation is complete. I'm gonna go uh, next with my eyebrows. I had received a sample of this. I did not purchase this. This came with me um, in a box that I purchased a few weeks ago. And it's the samples that came with the products. And there's also a Ulta item. And this is a brow shaping gel and it's in the clear coating. So I've never used the shaping, uh, eyebrow shaping gel, so let's see how this works. I don't like it. So I don't know if I need to wait to use the eyebrow pencil. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do it right now. I'm going to go with espresso and I think that's a darker shade. Okay, has a nice pencil tip to it. Yeah, this, I like the eyebrow pencil. The next thing that I'm going to do is I bought their full coverage liquid concealer and the color is medium warm. Looks like it's going on pretty well. And it's definitely creasing but with most products, um, concealers, I do crease right below. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, it's no different from other concealers that I've used. But yeah, that's a really good color match. The eyeshadow that I got from Ulta is one of three. This one is called Rose Gold. Um, it says it's a set of 12 soft, sweet, and romantic shades in matte shimmer and glitter finishes. It creates endless looks by combining these luxurious shadows to create seductive neutral eyes or smoldering smoky eyes. So the other eyeshadow palettes that I've used in the past and is using now, the main ingredient is mica and not talk. So, and then I looked at the other Ulta eyeshadows and it does seem like all of them, the main ingredient is talk. So let's see how well these things blend. I'm gonna go 
go with Dahlia right here. Whoa. Wow, it feels like there's like four pieces and then glitter pieces. So, whatever was on my brush, the entire thing just came off. I, th this one has way too much fall off. Like the entire thing off my brush on it just came off. This one kind of scares me. It looks like purple shimmers with different types of uh, glitter. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Um, I'm going to try to uh, blend it as much as possible. from them I actually couldn't find it um, I was looking through everything but I couldn't find it so um, I'm gonna be using the champagne color right here because a lot of times you can use what's on your eyeshadow palette to um, highlight your face it looks like the um, the chandelier uh, eyeshadow color is good for highlighting your face so if you did not buy a highlighter you can also use that color from your palette um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my eyes. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm going to try the Ulta brand mascara. I have a mascara here. Um, it's called Plush Drama Volumizing Mascara. Um, the container is pretty. It's like this copper tone. It's actually more like rose gold slash copper type of container. Um, but it feels very luxurious. Um, I like the color. So let's see how it performs. Because you know you have those certain mascaras that work really well and their wands are like perfect. So let's see. So it looks like a typical wand. Nothing spectacular or different about this. So I've applied my mascara. Um, I know you can't really see it because I don't really have long lashes to make a huge impact. But as I was applying it, I've noticed that it wasn't coating my eyelashes as much as I wanted with other mascaras that I've used. Um, so I had to go over it several times and it doesn't seem to really darken or thicken my eyelashes. I tried it at my lower lashes and it doesn't really do much. Um, not saying that it's a bad product, but it's definitely not going to be one of my top favorite mascaras um, in my bin. So I'm going to go ahead and put some fake lashes and I'll be right back. So I'm back. I went ahead and threw off some fake lashes. And so um, I'm going to try uh, the lip color. The one that I have from Ulta is the Matte Lip Crown, and the color is Bubbly. It's going on really smoothly. And I like how uh, much control you have with these um, crayons and that's the reason why I bought these. I don't know how they formulated this but I love texture. It's not too drying. It still has a little bit of um, it's not 100% mattifying. Still has some shimmer to it. It just looks very juicy. I love this color. And I love how easy it is to apply on. There we go. Um, so this is an uh, entire face with just uh, Ulta products. Um, I'm going to do a quick uh, summary of all the products that I used today. It's the Soft Focus Liquid Foundation and the color is in medium warm. This was a perfect match for my skin so I'm really happy about the color that I picked. Um, 
I like the way it feels on my skin right now. It's not overly heavy. It actually feels like I'm not wearing any foundation, which is a good sign. However, when I went to put on my uh, fake lashes, I've noticed that there were fine lines that I didn't know I had, um, especially just around uh, below my eye area. And uh, I don't know, looks-wise, it's very mattifying. And I'm not the type of person who really wants a mattifying foundation just because I naturally have very dry skin. So I've noticed that in certain areas of my face is really dry and it's very textured. It actually amplified those um, areas. And I think it also has to do with the fact that the concealer um, has a huge role in it because of the areas that I did notice where all the patchiness were, were the bridge of my nose. And then the fine lines that were really defined were just around uh, below my eyes. So it could be the concealer because that is where I use this product. Um, this I full coverage liquid concealer is waterproof, uh, but I think it needs more of. For me, it doesn't work because I naturally have uh, drier areas, and um, the areas where I did put the concealer, it gave me more wrinkles and it showed lines that I normally wouldn't have with other concealers. So I really don't recommend this if you naturally have a fairly dry skin. The third item that I want to go over, which I did not understand, is this brow shaping gel in clear. Um, if you're that person that has a lot of eyebrows, then I may recommend this. But for someone who has little to medium uh, set of eyebrows, I feel like it didn't do anything except it just kind of brush it, I don't think the clear coat really did anything for my eyebrows. So I wouldn't waste my money on this product. The fourth product that I want to go over is the um, Ulta's version of the mascara. I think they have other mascaras, but I ended up picking this one. Um, well, actually, I did get this for free, so I didn't buy a mascara, but um, I've noticed that the mascara texture is very thin. So I would have to go over my lashes about four or five times to get the thickness. Actually, I probably would have continued applying until I got the uh, thickness that I wanted, but after four or five times, I feel like that should have been plenty. So I do not recommend this mascara. Uh, Ulta may carry other uh, mascaras besides this one, um, but for now, I do not recommend this one. Um, um, the last product that I want to go over today, and I feel like this is probably uh, the three that I do not like. Uh, I just felt shadow that I did use today, which was Dahlia. That, to me, was a complete fail of a product. I really hate to say it, but it just didn't translate. What you see on the palette did not translate on my, eye, uh, on my eyes. So for me, when I looked at it, it's like a dark purple with pink uh, glimmer, uh, sparkles. And when I applied it onto my brush, I felt like there was too much. So I tapped it off and the entire product fell like completely off. There was no color or pigment whatsoever on my uh, uh, brush. So I, it's definitely not a creamy type of um, eyeshadow, uh, that one in particular. The others were okay. But I felt like I had to wet my brush to actually get much of the product. And like I said before, a lot of the eyeshadows that I do use has uh, mica as a main ingredient. This one, for example, the main ingredient is talc, T-A-L-C, if I'm not uh, pronouncing it correctly. So I think that's the reason why it was so powdery and it just didn't have much pigmentation. And I know the $20 price is not a very cheap price is kind of like in between a high-end and a low-end product but I feel like you can buy a product from Ulta, a different brand, say for example if it's $40 you can get it on sale for $20 if you end up hitting one of those deals so I recommend getting those um, I just don't recommend you buying this full price for $20 I do not recommend that I just think it's too expensive for the quality of eyeshadows that you get I really love it. Um, there's so many things that I love about this product. I love the color that I picked. Um, I tried the other color called Soray. 
Um, I love how matte crayons are so easy to use and I love the texture, the consistency, and it looks really good on my lips. It's not overly mattifying and just enough of moisturizing um, into the product, so I really highly recommend this product. I love it. it um, Ultra Slim Brow Pencil. I love this pencil. I feel like it did my eyebrows really well. Um, the color was great. The, uh, the spoolie on this was sturdy and didn't break on me. I don't think it will. Um, I felt like it is, the eyebrow pencil was very smooth. It went on my eyebrows really well and the color match was perfect. Thank you so much. Uh, I did have a good time doing this full face with just Ulta products. I was very curious. You know, it's always fun and exciting to try something new.